before I start, I want to say this is a companion piece to my original Sega Rally Championship Saturn review. If you'd like to know how I feel about Sega Rally at its core, then I recommend you check out that video. I also want to address two things from that review. Big shout out to Case the Corvette Man for pointing out these mistakes. Number one, the PlayStation is cheaper than the Saturn. The console itself is cheaper than the Saturn, but then you have to buy a memory card in a game. A memory card back in the 90s was like 25 bucks, and a game would go for like 60 to 70 bucks. And the PlayStation was priced at 2 dollars So with my third grade education and the powers of a calculator, that's between 384 to 394 bones. Still relatively cheaper than the Saturn, but still expensive as hell. Number 2. If you pick manual transmission, your car's top speed increases. This is not true. I even tested it myself. I guess it was a placebo effect to play here. I was probably playing too much Daytona USA. In that game, when you choose to play with the stick, the car gets a top speed increase by 10 miles per hour. It's all to it. Just want to say thanks again to Case and Corvette Man for the comment. If I'm ever to get a few things wrong in a video, don't be afraid to comment and point them out to me. So Sega Rally Championship was very popular in arcades, and it had a fantastic port on the Saturn. For the longest time, the Saturn and PC versions were the definitive way to play at home until 2006. On January 12, 2006, Sega released Sega Rally 2006 for the Sony PlayStation 2. There was a limited edition that came bundled with the original Sega Rally Championship. This conversion was handled by M2. M2 has a history of assisting developers in porting games to other platforms. Even in the 2000s, they were assisting Sega with the later volumes of the Sega HS 2500 line. Sega HS 2500 were originally budget remakes of older Sega games released for the PS2, but then later Sega Model 2 games were ported. I would love to discuss these, but I think we need to move on. Hey yo, what the fuck? Maybe at a later date. So how does this version of Sega Rally Championship stack up? Is this truly arcade perfect? Well, let's find out. Gameplay-wise, it's Sega Rally Championship. There's no punchline. You have to race against the clock and get to the finish as fast as you can. Since this is the arcade original, you have to choose between the Lancia Delta Integrale or the Toyota Celica GT4. The Lancia Stratos is nowhere to be seen. The controls are smooth. It plays like a dream with the DualShock 2. This version also supports the GT Force wheel, which I still need to buy for Initial D Special Stage. On the subject of control, this is where I would like to draw my first comparison to the Saturn version. Both are great to control, but the Saturn feels like there's weight to the car, which I really dig. The PS2 version has no weight at all. This could be true for rally cars in real life. I mean, it has to be. Have you seen these cars? They're practically fucking flying. Hey, this does make Lakeside easier to navigate through. This could have been improved if there was vibration, but sadly there's no vibration option. Since this is the arcade original, we don't have some of the goodies that the Saturn version has. The Lancia Stratos is not here, there's no time attack, multiplayer, or options to tune up your cars. It is a shame since you can make these your cars on Saturn. Part of me is disappointed that there are no enhancements, but I can understand adding features from the Saturn version was out of this conversion scope. I'm just happy that I'm playing the original arcade game, a piece of not only Sega's history, but racing game history. Of course it looks better than the Saturn port. The Sega Model 2 visuals are still attractive to this day. Fantastic draw distance, a lot of effects on screen, and it runs at a smooth 60 frames per second with no frame drops. This is not me undermining the Saturn version, it's wild that this version still holds up. If you press the select button on the tile screen and head on over to the options, you can toggle the aspect ratio. These resolutions are based on each cabinet release. My favorite is Type-C. Sadly no 16x9 aspect ratio, but I can live without it in this case. If you have a set of PS2 component cables or a start cable capable of sync on green, you'll get a nice 480p picture. If you want to cheat, you can use free McBoot and go to the GSM. You can have the game render at 1080i or 1080p. You may have to fuck around with the picture to have it in 4x3 since 1080 is a widescreen aspect ratio. I opt out for 1080i and let the retro team the inner laser do its magic. 
The sport has the original arcade tracks composed by Takenobu Mitsuyoshi, and as previously stated in my initial review, it's great stuff. It's going for a power sound, but I've also stated this in my initial review, but allow me to explain this more in depth. Three out of the four possible stages, Desert, Forest, and Mountain focus on the guitar, but how they delivered it is important. Desert State's track condition reflex sounds hyperactive and easygoing, which complements the course. The forest stage track Desert Land guitar sounds more intense as does the course. Mount stage track getting muddy sounds as if you're conditioned with the game and how it works. All these tracks sound as if they were training you, with getting money playing as if it's you're saying I'm ready. Which leads to the final course Lakeside. Lakeside's track Ignition has a sound of decisiveness. It complements the course as you're struggling through the tight corners, and as you come out of each corner you're sitting there wondering, can I really do this? It's genius stuff, Mitsuyoshi definitely put in some work. One thing that hurts my soul is that there is no option to pick the arranged Saturn soundtrack. That stings, man. Those tracks slap. It's kind of an upset, to be honest. I can understand not having the other gameplay features from Saturn, but I feel like they could have implemented the arranged score. Overall, the presentation is pretty good. I really like how you can tweak the game's aspect ratio, the Model 2 visuals are spectacular and still hold up, and it has a superb soundtrack. If you're looking for the arcade perfect version of Sega Rally Championship, then look no further than here. But if you want something more with the Model 2 visual fidelity, then I'm sorry to say you might have to look somewhere else. Perhaps Rally Sport Challenge 2 on the original Xbox? Objectively speaking, yes, this is the better game since this is the arcade original. But personally? I don't mind alternating between both the PS2 and Sega Saturn for some Sega Rally action. I enjoyed my time with the PS2 version, but if you want to play, you have to find a way to play PS2 imports. The PlayStation 2 is region locked. Unlike the Sega Saturn where you slap an action replay card and call it a day, you have to mod the PS2 in some way. That is a tedious task, but this is why we have this guy. I'm going to give the PS2 version an A rank. It's still a fantastic effort and I wish that they would give Sega Rally 2 the same love and care. Sega should re-release this game, they could port it to the Nintendo Switch under the new Sega Ages line, like for what they did for Virtual Racing. Well, what do you think of Sega Rally Championship? Do you prefer the Saturn version or the PS2 version? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a very blessed day.